This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. In this video, we will discuss the difference between runtime errors and logical errors. So, these are two different kinds of errors, and we will differentiate them one by one, one by one. So, with which from where uh, we can differentiate them with each other. So, first of all, the first difference we're gonna discuss today is a run. A runtime error occurs when the program directs the computer to perform an illegal operation such as dividing A number by zero and when we talk about the logical errors logical errors occurs when a program follows a wrong logic these errors may be due to improper use of formula or wrong use of symbolic symbols or data for example if we write the formula for speed as v is equal to s into t instead of v is equal to s over t it gives logical errors So we need to type S over T. The correct formula is S into T. So if we write S over T instead of S into T, it gives us a logical errors. Second difference is in such cases, either the execution of the program is held up or sometimes it gives absurd results second point for logical error is In such cases, the 
the execution of program is held up is not held up and it gives wrong results third point is the execution errors are difficult to locate so the meaning of execution errors or you can call execution or run times both have the same meanings because you can call the execution errors as a runtime errors and the runtime as a execution errors so both these terms having the same meaning so there's no need to worry about it so you can call and the runtime error as an execution error as well third point is the logical errors are also difficult to locate number four point is the language translator you can call compiler report any error message for a logical error you can call it runtime error the last point is number four Four point is the language translator or you can call it compiler because because GW basically use an interpreter so we can call interpreter instead of language translator So the language translator interpreter does not report since an error. So we, um, uh, whenever any logical error can be found in a program, the compiler can never tell us what type of the logical error is because the user has to identify the problem himself and then he needs to remove it because compiler cannot tell the type of logical error because it is incapable to tell us the exact logical error definition so user needs to remove it after the debugging process so it does not report any error message for a logical error so this is what we have discussed today the difference between uh, runtime errors and logical errors so we have give an example of it the logical errors the type of logical error. if you give you know write some wrong formula then it can be considered as a logical error and that 
in the program perform late like the operation it is called run time error and the program is in both cases the program is held up and gives us wrong result in both case in both cases whether it's a runtime error or logical error and the runtime errors are difficult to locate the logical error to also difficult to locate but the language translator reports us for any error message for a runtime error but for a logical error the interpreter does not report us so the user has to identify himself after the debugging process and then uh, remove the error for the better and exact accurate execution of a computer program the other point we want to discuss today is the comparison between flowchart and algorithm so we will discuss a little bit about them as well today so the next topic is the comparison between a flow chart and an algorithm so I'm gonna type the flow chart properties over here and then algorithm over here so the first point I'm going to write for flow chart is that a flow chart is a block diagram that reveals the structure and purpose of the program and if you talk about the an algorithm so it says that the step by step procedure for solving a problem is called an algorithm the second difference is different symbols are used to represent the flow chart and simple English or you can call simple or you can call sometimes natural or human so these are different names given to given to the language which is actually used for writing an algorithm simple natural or human English sentences are used to make an algorithm so this is these are the two differences we are discussed today between the comparison between a flow chart and an algorithm now we'll discuss uh, some of uh, the definitions like uh, we'll discuss today a little bit definitions 